Okay. I know uh, you're sick of hearing about it, and I'm sick of talking about it, but I uh, had a friend of a friend, I put the word out for him, I need a machinist, because uh, I'm in over my head, uh, to help me with the alignment on this thing. If you recall, the, the headstock here, exaggerating, is pointing that way. And every time I turn something, uh, it starts to dig in the closer we get to the chuck. So big out here to smaller, and it's very consistent. Uh, this this uh, friend of a friend has uh, probably 50 years into the machining industry. He came over today. We took some measurements. We looked at it, and I'm going to take this bad boy apart for maybe the 50th time and see if we can't get this going. You'll remember last time uh, I tried to sh shim it uh, marginally better, if at all. So what he was thinking is we'll take it to his machine shop machine out these ways because that's there's no adjustment here we're going to open it up so there's a little bit of adjustment and then we're going to put some set screws aka adjustment screws in here so we'll we'll create adjustment if you will so i'm going to tear this thing down and I guess I'll show you a little bit as we go. Hopefully I'm going to, this will be the last time I show you this. This thing is surprisingly heavy. I took it off here. I got to get to a bolt holding the headstock on there. So I have to support this.
that was up there. Now, uh, theoretically, oh, there we go. Let's see. Okay, see these uh, journals right here and right here. Maybe I showed you this one in another video, but uh, they are machined to fit. And then it looks like they just put a chisel right here and hit. Uh, them to tighten them up but what uh, Mike and I are hoping to do is uh, mill some adjustment space in here there's that broken piece there let me make sure I keep that somewhere and where it got to but uh, yeah Mill, mill some adjustment here and then put a set screw here, 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 and here. So we'll be able to align this thing. That's the goal. I'm going to box this up. I'll be taking it to his house and doing it over there. So I'll keep you posted. Okay. Fresh back from... Mike's house, uh, wow, what knowledge and experience there, and a great guy, see our, uh, our new adjustment, uh, got four, one on each side of that headstock, got four 1032 set screws in there, before we left his house, it was running really true. He had a longer piece of stock in here. Anyway, just pulled it out of the truck. Boy, these gantry cranes are great. Doug, if you're watching, you know where I got this, right? But I did put a new beam, uh, bigger and longer beam in there. But they just make it easy to work alone. Anyway, I'll be putting this together, and I'll bring you back. All right, got it back on the bench, or stand, so to speak. Here's a shot of the back. That piece there was broke out, and now with the adjustment and the little bit of room that uh, Mike milled in there, that just falls out, so... I'll keep it and maybe braze it at some point, but for now, we're good. And uh, I got all this mechanical stuff to put on there. But I don't want to put it on there. Uh, all these, most of these screws, certainly on the back side and, and this one, are going to be buried by the gearboxes. So I got to get this lined up before I put that stuff on there and I think it is lined up so I indicated that in okay and now I don't know if you can see that so we'll just go slowly towards the chuck and that needle is hardly moving wow okay Look at that. I don't think there's a thousandths in there. It's a piece of steel Mike lent me because I 
quickly realized uh, everything in the shop is bent and warped so he gave me a piece of steel that actually uh is straight <laughs> i gotta get that back to him though all right next time you'll see chips See if I can take some high spots off here, or just smooth it out a little bit. Okay. Now, let's see whether our problem got any better. Okay. Okay, what I've been doing here, because I can't, I can't set, I can't set zero on the bottom and then open it without a, getting it. So I, I put it on here, and then I hit set zero. Then I can comfortably pull it off. And let's see. Okay, uh, we're a hundred and ninety three. Five. Let's round it to a hundred and ninety-four thousands plus an inch, of course. Do the same thing here. Zero it out. Take it back to zero and a hundred. 193 which here was 193 and a half so good news uh, thank you Mike I think we've solved the problem anyway uh, not bad all right if anybody wants to know anything about a craftsman lathe, uh, I've learned my share. Thank you. Bye-bye.